the common misconception is what we do is the same as what a firewall management vendor does when what they call firewall monitoring or traffic monitoring. Okay, um, we dig, in my opinion, anyway, a lot deeper in looking at network traffic. Um, perfect example, um, because this really wasn't network traffic because the firewall wasn't allowing it. Um, was there was a client that we had that hadn't been doing firewall um, log analysis with us. Um, they had had a incident. Um, it was about a third of their PC install base. Um, they had recovered from the incident. Um, everything appeared to be fine. A few months later, um, they decided to eval our firewall log analysis portion of end discovery. Um, day one, right out of the box, we found again about a third of their PC install base was infected with this malware. Well, we, we had no idea that they had been infected at all. They hadn't had any sort of incident in the past. Um, notified them, et cetera. Basically, the, the traffic was being denied by the firewall. Okay, so when you're doing traffic monitoring, you're not going to see that because it's not actually going through the firewall. Um, so besides just looking at what's actually happening, going through the firewall, we're also looking at what potentially is going through the firewall. So at that point, um, you know, we notified them, they started doing the cleanup, etc. But, you know, if we hadn't detected that, and let's say they had a few laptops, right, as part of that infection base. Um, laptop is, when it's behind the firewall, it's totally secured from that firewall. Um, you know, can't go out. Um, now, granted, you're one fat finger misconfiguration away from, you know, allowing that command and control traffic out. But as soon as a user takes that laptop off the network and puts it on their home network or, any, you know, wherever, boom, they're out on the Internet and then the command and control traffic can occur again. Mm -hmm. um, now, malware can be, you know, when you're talking command and control, it can be just that one device, right, that's getting updated or whatever. Um, hackers can write their... Uh, malware to talk peer-to-peer, -peer, so it can talk to other infected devices on a system. So, you know, you're not really taking the chance that that one device may connect out. You're taking the chance that it may have already collected information from other devices in a peer-to-peer -peer mode, and then, you know, data goes out the window, and you have no idea that it happened because it's not happening on your network. Right.